Hi. No. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good. <laughs> We introduced the Tilgrind Cremulator earlier this year, and I'm happy to report that we're now in many locations in North America, Europe, and even in a human funeral home. Our customers have been fantastic, they've provided us a lot of valuable feedback, and we've incorporated a lot of the changes that were provided to us by our customers. One of the changes that unfortunately you won't see today because of the version of the tilt grind that I have is that we can now adapt the tilt grind to a 220 volt. What that means is that you no longer need to tilt the grinder to get the process going. We're going to leave the original video on our website so that you can compare the two. We do have customers out in the field that are operating on a 110 plug, which is what I have today. It's basically just a regular household plug. But it does require that you tilt the grinder before you get it going, and that is to offload the blade. The blade operates at a very high RPM, and just to get it going, the bones need to be on the side. It's not been a problem for our customers. They haven't reported anything that prevents them from having a smooth operation. But with a 220, it just makes it a little bit different, and probably a little bit better to operate as well, because you don't have to tilt it anymore. Um, we are, however, going to keep the mechanism of being able to tilt the grinder while you're doing the process because it does accelerate it regardless. One of the things that you'll notice today on this video that's not on the original video is the stand that the grinder is sitting on. We built a, uh, um, a stand based on our customers' uh, feedback because they wanted to have a compact area to keep the grinder. There's a shelf that uh, will hold the container that you drop the ashes in and the bent brush that comes with the grinder is included still and now it has a home of its own so that you don't misplace it. Coming up to the grinder, the other thing that uh, you'll notice as well is the bottom. Uh, on the original video we had a big white cover here. Uh, one of our customers referred to it as R2-D2. So we've taken that away, you don't need that anymore. Um, and the other big, big change is the lid, and it's the latches. The original uh, grinder had latches that went up and down. Um, even though they worked, uh, they were never tight enough to prevent the dust from coming out when you were in operation, which is a problem with many of the grinders out there. This one is just a quick latch and release. I love these latches. You basically just put the lid on and go click, click, and it's tight, and it's on. The other thing too, the felt um, is very thick and we do send you a replacement felt with the grinder to replace it. It will probably last many months before there's a dent in the felt. You just remove the screws, put the new felt on, screw it back on and there you go. It's all set to go. So let me show you how this works. These are probably the bones of about a 40 pound animal. The other thing that I want to mention, now that I'm putting the bones in here, is that the pot is a much thicker steel than the original design. So it is a much quieter um, operation. It's not going to sound quiet to you today because I am wearing a lavalier and I'm really close to the grinder, so you are going to hear it when I start it. But if you were in the room, a regular room, it's very, very quiet. So on, click, click, and it's done. Uh, because I am using the 110 voltage version today, I am going to tilt it. If you are on the 220, and we have customers on the 220 now, you don't need to tilt. You can just leave it in the upright position. So on the original video, it would latch in this position here, and this is how you would start it. Uh, I also mentioned on the original video that I don't latch it because I started in this position but I like to move it back and forth when I'm grinding the bones. So that's what I'm going to do today. This will probably take less than six seconds. And as you can see, there's no dust coming out. Easy to unlatch. Take my trusty vacuum. So 
So you can do a couple of things. You can either latch it in the very last position. It holds it in place. Whoops, sorry, here's my brush. It will grind into a very, very fine dust. So if you have a family that's looking to get a memorial done in a blown glass, the glass blower will appreciate having the uh, ashes being very, very fine. It's easier for them to, to blow the memorial. And also if you have a family that's looking at um, spreading the ashes, it's always nice to give them an ash that is very fine. So there you go. All done. Thanks for watching.